Uganda has made remarkable progress in the fight against HIV AIDS, tuberculosis and malaria, as well as building resilient and sustainable health systems. The Ministry of Health, with support from Global Fund, has stepped up interventions in prevention, testing, care and treatment as a means of managing the three disease conditions. In 2015, the Global Fund Board approved a grant worth $401 million to facilitate programs with 90% of the funds to be used in procurement, storage and distribution of health commodities, including medicines, testing kits and other equipment. The 10% of the funds were to support the operations. It is three years down the road. Several interventions have been implemented in managing the three epidemics and significant achievements have been registered even as the grant comes to an end. <laughs> HIV AIDS took the lion's share of the budget with an estimated $215 million invested in prevention, testing, care and treatment. This investment has indeed been worthwhile changing the lives of thousands of people through the implementation of various programs. As such, over 128,000 HIV-positive patients have been started on ARVs. The viral load suppression among HIV-AIDS-positive patients now stands at 90%. There's also been a 40% decline in new infections, and over 300,000 people have been tested, just to mention but a few. Dr. Joshua Musinguzi is the program manager of the AIDS control program. He re-echoes some of the milestones that have been reached over the past three years. Uh, we have been able to reduce from 28,000 the number of babies who are born with HIV at the time, that time of 2010 to now only 4,000 children being born with HIV, which is a reduction of close to about 86%. Uganda is one of the best performing countries among the 22 high burden countries. Uganda's HIV AIDS prevalence has also significantly gone down from 7.3% to 6% as of 2016. At the end of June this year, we had reached a number of about 1,028,000 Ugandans on ART out of the 1.3 million that we are estimating to be HIV infected, which means we are really almost getting there. We are remaining with about the 300,000 that we need to ident identify. So in terms of care and treatment, we have also done uh, quite well. And as I indicated earlier, our viral load suppression is high. Uh, so all these uh, targets that we have set ourselves, the 1990 targets, for instance, for that is been uh, globally and at national level agreed as a, one of the ways forward for our HIV programming, we are moving in the right direction on that cascade. Another area that Global Fund supports is the prevention, care and treatment of malaria. In fact, $149 million was allocated to the Malaria Control Program under the Ministry of Health. And yes, several success stories have been written with support from the grant including 24 million mosquito nets have been distributed 64% of pregnant mothers in Uganda now sleep under an insecticide-treated mosquito net. 92% of malaria patients access anti-malarial treatment. And there's been massive sensitization and awareness on prevention of Uganda's number one killer disease. Dr. Jimmy Opigo, the program manager for the National Malaria Control Program, says that the massive distribution of the long-lasting insecticide nets has been the epitome of the efforts in bringing down the malaria prevalence in Uganda. The coverage of over 95% uh, and it impacts very seriously on malaria reduction. The major gain we have had is uh, Malaria mortalities are almost, almost out. We are now reporting less than 600 deaths per, per year, which is a major, major reduction of uh, mortalities. 
During the three years, the malaria control program has also conducted indoor residual spraying, especially in areas of northern Uganda. Global Fund provided over $11 million. We have sprayed the north and we have reduced malaria there by over 60%. Through the Global Fund support, the first ever national population-based TB prevalence survey estimated to have cost about $3.3 million, was successfully implemented between 2014 and 2016 by the Ministry of Health with technical support from Makere University School of Public Health. Massive sensitization and awareness campaigns were also conducted. Over 150,000 people were also started on TB treatment. I me here. I started residing here. Thereafter, they started me on a treatment. So, after starting a treatment, they have been caring for us very well, giving us food for free, free of charge, uh, give us breakfast, lunch, supper, on time, uh, give, give us good services. The doctors are always monitoring us. They are asking us questions on how the treatment is going. Uh, they don't allow us to, to use those other herbal medicines. Each, each infection you get, like any change you get in your life, you ask them, they will help you out. 120 bright field microscopes were also procured and installed. Through the fund, sophisticated machines have also been procured and installed to improve the diagnosis of TB in at least 124 health facilities across 97 districts. Uh, through the grant support alone, we have been able to buy about 120 gene expert machines. Our projection is that uh, by early next year, we should, each district should have such a machine of its own. This machine is very important in the sense that it can help us to confirm what we call both drug susceptible TB and MDR at the same time. Taso Uganda is the second principal recipient of the Global Fund. During the period under review, Taso received up to $59.7 million from the Global Fund. $44.7 million was allocated to malaria. 7.9 to HIV and tuberculosis combined, while health system strengthening received $7.1 million. We have also improved cold, cold storage capacity by providing refrigerators for laboratory hubs, about 113 fridges. We have expanded cold storage for joint medical store, both uh, in Kampala and in Mbarara. And uh, we have also procured uh, cold uh, storage trucks, medicine distribution trucks, four trucks for national medical store. TASO has also integrated the gender-based violence component in the implementation of several programs. We have identified 127 champions in the districts to identify cases, to sensitize communities, to connect them to uh, the, the legal help for police and probation officers to help out. And uh, this has been quite a new service we've done before. We've trained, we've equipped, and continue to facilitate these champions. It is the success of the different activities and projects, as well as the need to sustain the gains that have motivated the Global Fund to extend their partnership with the government of Uganda. The Global Fund Board recently approved $478 million, including the catalytic funding and emergency funds for refugees for the implementation period of 2018-2020. The grant will be implemented by the Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development the aid support organization TASO, as a principal recipient in collaboration with the Ministry of Health and other civil society organizations. We expect to see, see the results 
uh, we expect to see the benchmarks. Uh, for example, if we, if we are now distributing mosquito nets, are we seeing the malaria uh, coming down? Uh, or if we are spending a lot of money on educating people about the uh, HIV, are we seeing the behavior changing and the, the, burden, the burden reducing? The Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Health, Dr. Diana Atwine, emphasizes the need for proper monitoring and evaluation measures to follow up on the proper utilization of the funds. We commit first to collaborate more with partners especially the sub-recipients, so that we know we are in the know of the activities that are being done, we plan together. Th these are things that, that s somehow will, will help us to augment or, or ca ca catalyze our, our, our activities. We want to see more synergy in our work together with other implementing partners. We want to know what each one of us, so that we cut out the duplication. The call for accountability from all stakeholders has also been overemphasized, especially following the successful audits that were conducted during the end of the grant period. This grant will go a long way in consolidating the gains that we have already made with the previous grants as well as uh, our gains in reducing the burden of the three diseases, AIDS, TB, and malaria. We want to appreciate the Global Fund for also emphasizing the component of health system strengthening. With this component, we are embarking on construction of a national warehouse with a 30,000 pellet capacity. This will enable us moving forward to address the issues of bringing drugs in different batches. We can now we'll be able to store large quantities of drugs at the same time. The extension of the grant is by all means a shot in the arm for Uganda to achieve its health goals by the year 2030. On behalf of the Ministry of Health, I would like to appreciate the Global Fund for AIDS, TB, and malaria. Since its inception from 2003, Uganda has been receiving Global Fund contributions. And uh, so far we have received close to one billion US dollars. And this has supported the country's response to the AIDS pandemic, to TB, and to malaria. The Global Fund support to Uganda is complementary to investments made by Government of Uganda, development partners and bilateral support such as the Presidential Malaria Initiative and President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief PEPFA programs among others.